oh teacher. At whatever level you teach, you hold the key. The land cries to you. Schools are multiplying every inch of the land with the same cry and expectation. Even the tiny child of today is crying. And can I tell you what that child is crying for? He said, oh teacher, oh teacher, mold me for my destiny. Don't let my destiny be wasted. My parents have dropped me in your hand. Mold me. As you see them coming, there's a cry. Don't allow me to become a dropout tomorrow. Don't allow my potential to be slashed. Oh, teacher, set me on course for the future for which I was born. Every class, the baby in nursery one is crying, Oh, teacher, mold me for my destiny. Rescue me from the impending damage. Set me on course. Don't damage me. That baby is crying. The child that was in your class that you are supposed to help with quantitative reasoning to develop his capacity for mental development that will give him a grasp of mathematical concepts at that level. One careless teacher destroyed that. So by the time it comes to primary six, all the omission has wasted his capacity. He comes to GS1, GS2. He says, I don't like mathematics. How did he know that? How can a small child hate something or love something? What does he know? The teacher has damaged me. There's a cry. I said there's a cry from parents. There's a cry on the street. There's a cry by the child itself. There's a cry from the nation. There's a cry from heaven. And I'm asking tonight, will you arise to this call? Will you take this seriously? Will you begin to pray and say, oh God, if you have put me in the teaching profession, is this the seriousness of it?